what's going on everybody welcome back to another video today i'm coming to you with my first time at nickelodeon universe at the american dream mall in new jersey so like i said this is my first time here uh, i'm ready to check out this place and see what it's like uh, ride shellraiser get my 200th credit on shellraiser over there i'm excited for that looks like everything's working today you know i'm not gonna get pranked by anything that's like down um, other than Sandy's, uh, so much for writing that. Uh, we'll not be able to get to Sandy's today, most likely. Unless some miracle happens and it opens, but um, that's probably not gonna happen. So I'm gonna head straight over to Shellraiser to get my 200th credit. All right, guys, here we are at the entrance of TMNT Shellraiser, and here I am about to go get my 200th coaster credit and uh, that'll be put right here. Yeah, so you just saw all the ride footage. This is actually still the same clip. And uh, this is just, this is a really fun ride. It's a little bit rough in the front, but nothing too bad. Um, it's easy to get so much footage of this thing. And honestly, I loved it. It was a great, great milestone credit. Awesome. All right, so originally I was planning to come here with uh, Bennett and Justin, or that intimate guy in Coastal Dolphin today. Uh, but, um, you know, coronavirus. No, what actually happened was Justin had to work today and uh, Bennett actually might be scared of the coronavirus, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so uh, I was gonna come here with them today. However, they were not able to make it, which is fine with me. Uh, that's okay, I'll, I'll see them up uh, later sometime. I was also gonna ask Logan, One Train Ops, to come, but uh, he I, did, I asked him way too late, so he already had plans, but you know what, that's fine. I think I'm still gonna have a good time at this park. And uh, I'm gonna really try not to get the coronavirus because this place is crowded and there's probably coronavirus everywhere. So, yeah. Yeah, I love this carousel because it's literally Reptar. It's only Reptar. I'm gonna get the coronavirus. So after riding that monster up there, I'm gonna go ride the uh, slime streak. I almost called it orange streak, like the one at, uh, in Minnesota. But um, no, so this, Colin CJL Thrills says this is really fun and that I'm gonna like it more than I think and I'm doubting him. So we shall see if I actually enjoy it as much as he says I will. Also, all right, so after riding Pepsi, or the, not Pepsi, Nickelodeon Slime Streak, um, I definitely thought it was more fun than I was expecting, and Colin was right. I admit, I, I believe you, Colin. It's okay. Yes, it was actually pretty fun. Had a little bit of air time. It was a little, it was enjoyable. So now, I think I'm gonna go over to Shredder because apparently the entrances to those two are not close to each other. But that's fine, because I'm just going to go over there now. You know what I got to do? If I keep touching these bars, got to stay safe. 
right, I am gonna make a serious clip real quick. This place is themed very cool. I love that this is a jellyfish from SpongeBob. Uh, SpongeBob's right there out in front of it, all the jellyfishing, stuff like that. I actually think this place is pretty cool with the theming and everything. It actually, I was expecting to not like this park very much, but so far it's actually really enjoyable. It's also very crowded today, but the lines aren't actually bad. It's just the midways are packed. Uh, so that's fun, but it's actually a really fun park. And now I'm actually going to Shredder. You know what time it is? It's shredding time. So uh, on the way out here, they actually have replacement shredder wheels right here and the extra trains right at the exit. That's that's really cool. I, I think that's cool. Also, spinning coaster violet paint. So can confirm this is violet, not pink. Otherwise, I thought shredder was all right. It's just another Gerslauer spinner. I didn't spin a ton, um, but yeah, it, it was it was pretty fun overall. Like it wasn't terrible. I really love how it interacts with uh, Shell Razor though. That's the coolest part of this ride and Shell Razor, honestly. Uh, yeah, and it's also just broke down too, so that's a rip. Rip. As a coaster enthusiast and a theme park uh, lover, this is something I really don't like riding very much. It just gives me a headache for no reason. Not because I like headbang, but like because it leaves you upside down if you're, well, I know you can control this, but you know, I just leave myself upside down and then I get a headache and I get mad at myself. So I don't really enjoy these too much. Uh, <laughs> no, it's still closed. My love, intimate, intimate, my love. Whoa, it made a sound, holy shit. Pardon my French. I mean, if this opened, I would be absolutely amazed, but I'd be so happy. Please open, Sandy. I want to ride you so bad. Oh, that sounded weird. Okay, I'm going to move on before I get too weird. We got Golden Hour here with the half pipe, uh, the intimate half pipe. I've ridden one of these before at Mall of America. They're very fun. I enjoyed it a lot. This one spins more than that one, so this one I liked better. Honestly, I think this is the sleeper ride of the park. No one really talks about this. It's it's one of the better rides here. So uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed I really enjoyed riding the half pipe. Uh, I don't really know what the actual name of it is. It's it's Timmy's half pipe havoc. It's an intimate half pipe. That's all I care about. So it was fun. I'm so sad. I just talked to the guy at Sandy's and. He said it's, it's not done, well, he told the kid it's not done yet, but he said it's not gonna open for a while, and I'm sad. But in other news, this drop tower, this drop tower sucks, but uh, the view at the top is second to none. It's actually incredible at the top. The drop though, not so fun. Also, stay strapped. So in the meantime, I have ridden some flat rides. Krang is basically the same thing as Cyclist at Kentucky Kingdom. Um, not quite as fun cycles, but it is fun, very fun. Uh, this Zamparello thing, themed to, uh, themed to Airbender, I didn't like them, honestly. I, I don't like when I get stuck like that. Uh, plus, it really hurt my shoulders and man parts, so. Not that fun. Oh my gosh, it's the actual thinking chair. I don't know why I am so enamored with this over everything else, but like, I used to watch Blues Clues as a kid so much growing up. Stop to get a snack. Make sure to wash my hands first. Uh, it's not sponsored by Miss Vicky's, but I love them. I love especially the jalapeno ones. 
Uh, they're pretty great. You should get some. But uh, yeah, I like how they sell snacks here. And uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna go ride Show Razor again after this. I'm looking. I'm looking forward to it. I'm not gonna be here too much longer though. So yeah. All right. This is a PSA for everyone. Reminder: recycle. Save the turtles. So I just rode Shell Razor again twice. Uh, in the front, it is a little bit rough, a little bit rattly. In the back, it is much smoother. So uh, I, I do agree with people when they say the back is smoother. It's very fun though, I enjoy it. All right, let's go drive the Shell Razor van. Nice. This stuff's really bouncy. Like actually. Yo, you know I gotta get my picture with Spongebob. Hell yeah, dude. All right, so I'm pretty much done here. I only spent a couple hours here, but um, I'm gonna get my thoughts on this park. So I thought, honestly, it was pretty fun. Um, I think I underestimated it a little bit. I thought it was gonna be kind of annoying to get to and uh, just like not super fun overall to be at. But uh, even though it's really crowded today, it actually was pretty fun. Uh, their coasters are all pretty good. Um, I had a good time overall. And yeah, it, it honestly impressed me. I do think that it's very much too expensive, but uh, you know what? I'm probably not gonna come back here for a while until Sandy's open. Uh, so it'll be a while before I'm back here. But do I recommend it, honestly? Yes, uh, if you have the money. It's a little expensive, like I said, I wish they would make it a little cheaper than it is. Uh, but if you can afford it, I definitely recommend coming here. It's a good, it's a good park. So um, stay safe from the coronavirus. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a big kind of thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Once again, stay safe from the coronavirus. Hey!